Hi Tribe and welcome back for another session with us here at Deep Yoga Beats. Thanks for joining me and today's session we're going to be focusing on the cardiovascular system and really trying to get this heartbeat going and um, so it's going to feel quite a strong practice and energetic um, but that is kind of the purpose of my theme today um, to really help energise you feeding some strength, energy, balance, and to help us work out all this stagnant energy as well. And because we are working with that cardiovascular system, I'm going to be bringing in um, some connection to your heart energies as well, your heart chakra, so we can sort of tie in those um, anatomical needs, spiritual needs, uh, and mental and emotional needs as well. So today's practice, we're going to begin in a child's pose. So here we're just going to open the knees up, we can allow the feet to drop back, you can draw the toes in if you want, you can have a slight gap and just allow the bum to drop back onto those heels. Notice how it feels in the hips initially, maybe you need to gradually just work yourself down. And then we're going to bring the forehead all the way down to the earth, just stretch those arms in. Now if your forehead isn't quite reaching, you may grab, you can put your hands into fists and just rest your forehead upon your fists. Or you can grab your pillow or a block. towards the tailbone and imagine just all your stress and your tension and your worry right now today just leaving through the base of your spine leaving your tailbone with each breath you're taking and starting to take it inward to a place where we can begin to grasp and grab hold of what's going on of our reality. And we're just going to come up onto the forearms now. So the bum's going to rise up. You can keep the knees wide if it feels nice. And you will feel that lovely opening down there by the front and the back bottom. And that's what we want. We want to feel some space there, some freedom. And we're going to gently just rock that back and forth. Just begin to work those hips a little. Close the eyes and notice if you're feeling rigid or stuck or resistant. 
gradually just work in some deeper movement. We can walk those fingers ahead of us and bring down the chin and the chest. And again, coming up to those elbows and the forearms, pressing into the earth and just gently rocking. back to your child's pose, we're going to walk the hands all the way to the right side and just try and bring down that head and shoulder and then opening the palms and the hands and the fingers and just gently trying to walk the fingers away from you just to increase that stretch through the back, the side of the body. And with the exhale, release any discomfort there from the right side of your hip. Nice deep breath. So really encouraging now the breath to come in, the prana to circulate around the body. Good. And let's put those hands all the way over there towards the left side. Again, just repeating that process there. yourself back here to the midline and we're going to begin to come up onto all fours into our tabletop. So drawing the knees back in just in line with the hips, flatten the feet, we're going to have the hands right underneath the shoulders, so lovely alignment there running through. The shoulders, arms and wrists. Okay, so bring that tabletop position into your mind. Think about how your belly is being engaged, you're allowing it sort of just the tips of the tailbones pushing away. If so, come into tabletop. We'll engage the belly. Nice flat back. Keep that chin nice and level there with the rest of the body. Tabletop. So let's drop the belly on the inhale. Push tailbone away. Roll shoulders back. So we're pressing into the earth and raising up our chin. And then exhale. Push in. Roll in. And let's just keep travelling between our cat and our cow. Stepping into our skin. that direction. 
into some pranayama and we're going to be doing a bit of our fire breath. So you can stay as you are as you've come up with a nice wide leg and bring the hands onto the thighs if that's comfortable for you, your feet. If not, grab your pillow, pop it on there under your butt and allow yourself to feel more comfortable. Um, some of you may actually just feel comfortable there in drawing the knees together in your hero's pose or if this is really uncomfortable then please just find a comfortable seated, um, maybe a cross-legged or against the wall or just whatever you feel comfortable doing while we're practicing some breath work. So find your comfortable position and let's begin to close the eyes and go inward again. So we should just sort of bump the belly button. Kabati breath, our fire breath already the last few sessions. So we're going to pick up the pace a little, we're going to include a couple more rounds this time. We're going to be doing five rounds together. So I'm going to recommend to keep your hands here. Um, if it's uncomfortable then obviously please drop your hands down for a bit of support as you're uh, pumping from the stomach you may feel you need a bit of support. So if you can stay here that's great because we're really going to try and activate this fire breath, incorporate the heart energies and try and get this power taken up into our hearts and the love taken down into our power. So this is what I really want to try and get going today, this communication between the heart energies and 
your solar plexus, your power, your worth, the, the fear. So if you can, let's keep left hand on the heart, right hand on the belly and close the eyes. Your fire breath is quite a strong breath, and we are going to be doing five rounds. So you may find you feel a little lightheaded towards the end, um, but that's a completely normal response that your body will be showing you. And that is just that rush of oxygen coming in, and also that complete expel of carbon dioxide, um, which is very healing as well. So allow yourself to sit with what's going on. It's a process happening, it's a healing process happening in the body. Um, Honour it. So the exhale is very forceful, very strong, and it comes from the stomach. So we're really engaging the abdominals to forcefully allow it to exit the body via the nostrils. It's a very passive inhale. So you can hardly hear the inhale at all. It's the exhale that is really stealing the show here. So let's take a deep breath in. And we'll begin to pump from the belly. experiencing anything. I'm actually going to bring in another five rounds. If you want to just sit there and focus on your breath, close your eyes and keep inward, then please do. If you would like to participate in one more round, then we shall begin together. First inhale. And exhale. circle coming through the hips, so you don't need to engage that collar. Roll in and tuck in the tailbone, pushing the tailbone away, and then tuck in the tailbone, rolling through the spine, engaging the belly, kind of like our cat and cow, but really soft. Keep breathing. Now 
begin to work intuitively and listen to the body. It may want to pick up speed a little, but it may want to keep it real slow. Close the eyes and be with every sensation as you're rolling through those hips. Notice what's engaging, notice what's happening to the breath. Tabletop. Drop the bum back. It's coming to that child's pose. And then bring yourself onto the forearm. And gently just rocking that back and forth. Inhaling into your cow, we're going to take, start to take that journey up to that half dog. So those that are familiar with practicing with me, you know what to do here. We're going to start to just enter our downward dog, but really gently in and out. And let's arrive up to that downward dog when you feel good. Arrive in here. Padding out the feet, working the backs of the legs a little. And let's really start to get into the skin again, work the hips, the backs of the legs, the shoulders, the neck. I really like to encourage self-expression in your yoga practice. And learning to listen and connect to the body and what it wants and how it wants to flow and move. And let's stand here now and I'll take in our downward dog, nice wide fingers, point the palms at the fingertips forward, pressing the palms in, let's open up through the armpits and the shoulders. Checking in with the alignment through the legs, the weight in the feet. Sitting bones reaching for the sky. And let's enjoy this inversion as we're breathing, as we're allowing the prana to circulate. Let's begin to work the ankle. Bringing the kneecap in, nice big circles. Go both directions. And then we're going to pull this knee through, tap the opposite elbow, squeeze those abdominals as we push that right leg straight back up. Take a deep breath. Exhale, squeeze, bringing the knee through, tap in, try to travel up to the armpit if you can, push. One more deep breath. Tap and push. Bringing it back down. If you need to come down, please take your rest. If not, let's begin to really pick up speed. Left leg up. Checking with our alignment in the standing leg. Hips nice and even. Let's breathe three deep breaths. And then open 
in the hip, we can begin to work the ankle. And then we'll feel that burn in the shoulders now. So start to really incorporate your breath, your mental strength coming into your practice already. Good, and squeeze, just bring it through, tap. Inhale, rise. Exhale, tap. Inhale, rise. Exhale, tap. Coming back down. Let's take a rest, child's pose. If you need to draw those legs in, let's pull the arms back into that dormouse. Let's get some restore real energy coming back through the shoulders. So draw up the elbow. Start to tuck that chin a little. And let's arrive back now up towards that down facing. Listening. And we're going to take that right foot over towards the left side of the mat. And then pick the left leg up. And now to pass just past the right foot and then take it over to the right side of the mat. You can gently just rock into that. Take the right leg up, swing it up over the left leg, taking it over to the left side of the mat. Let's have a rock. Pick that left leg up, up and over the right, all the way over to the right side of the mat. Have a rock back and forth. And let's just walk those feet into the midline, even them up and let's just hang in that rag down. Relaxing there through the neck. If you want to, you can find those fingers and bring them to the back of the skull. And just relax there. And you can just play with that weight there, rocking it forward and back. Thigh connection. 
Bend the knees. Bring the head in. We can grab hold of those ankles or the earth. And then lengthening the legs flat back. Hands can stay on the earth or to your knees. Goes up. Halfway in. Exhale, forward fold. Find the mat. Set the right leg back and the left foot your high plank. Now if that is too much for anybody, drop the knees. Pick the feet up. If not, stay there. Wrap those abdominals into the midline. And then drop the knees, flatten the feet. Arms coming into Chaturanga, chin and chest, re uh, moving as one unit down to the earth. Constantine in the spine. And here, this, the hands are going to pull and grip that chest through into your cobra. So a nice bent elbow, our hips are on the earth. See if we can just pop those toes up maybe. Release and gently. Sliding back down, give yourself a push up. Let's come to downward facing dog. Here we're gonna take three full breaths. And step the right leg through and then the left for a halfway lift. Lengthening flat back goes up. Exhale, forward fold. Rising all the way up. Nice wide arm, hands coming into the heart center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, that forward fold. Halfway lift, deep breath. Exhale, forward fold. Find the mat at the left back and the right for your high plank. Feeling powerful, strong. Knees, chest, chin. Pushing into that cobra. Good, releasing down, downward dog. Three breaths. Close your eyes, get lost in your movement, be with your body. Inhale, left leg up, come through, halfway lift. Forward fold, rising up, hands to heart. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Halfway, deep breath. Using those toes to really help control stability. Forward fold. This time take a jump back if it feels good. If not, stay with pressing one leg back at a time. Hold, high plank. Knees, chest, chin. Cobra. Maybe take your legs to full up dog if it felt good and natural. Push down with dog. Three full breaths. Set the right leg through, then the left. If not, take the jump. Halfway in. Flat back, lengthening. Exhale, forward fold. Rising up, hands into heart center. Beginning to step into our power. Inhale, right. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, deep breath. Exhale, front. Find the mat. Jump a step back, high plank, hold. Chaturanga, knees, chest, chin. Push. Take a full upward dog or your cobra. Pushing up, down, facing dog. Three breaths. Jump a step, halfway lift. Lengthen, flat back, face forward. Travel deeper, forward fold. Rising up, hands into the heart centre. Feel that internal heat picking up. You can feel the heartbeat racing. 
your breath is quickened. We're beginning to really connect to our cardiovascular system. Deep breath, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway, deep breath. Exhale, forward fold. Find the mat, step the left back. Or take the jump if it feels good. High plank, hold. Good, Chaturanga, body one unit. So imagine here wrapping those elbows in, chin and chest coming down, push. Giving you that nice slide into your upward facing dog. And downward dog. <coughs> Three breaths. <sighs> Good, and we'll take a jump, pull that left leg forward, then the right. Halfway lift, lengthen, flatten, forward puff. Rising up, hands to heart centre. Good job, stay with me. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, forward puff. Deep breath, halfway. Engage that belly, tuck the, tuck the belly in, exhale, fold. Find the mat, jump a step, high plank. Let's hold those that are familiar. You can maybe lift up one leg, bridges off the floor to increase this challenge in your chaturanga. If not, stay there with your chin, chin, chest chin. Uh, I forgot the words. And I've lost the words. <laughs> okay, push up to your downward facing them. Good, one more breath, and then take that jump or step to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. And rising all the way up, hands to heart centre. Rise, take a back bend if it feels good. Exhale, forward fold. We dive in deeper now. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Jump or step back. High plank. Let's raise that left leg. Chaturanga, knees, chest, chin. Push into that upward facing dog. And downward facing dog for three more breaths. Jumping or step into that halfway lift. Forward fuck. Rising all the way up. Hands into heart centre. Two more rounds. Deep breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Jump step. Hold. Exhale. Turn to manga. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward dog. Three breaths here. Jump a step. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Rising up, hands to heart center. Deep breath, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, deep breath. Exhale, forward fold. Find the mat, jump a step, high plank. Let's hold. Chaturanga, knees, chest chin. Push, push on Gasana. Downward facing top. Three more breaths. Jumping 
Jump the step, halfway lift. Fluid up. Rising up, find your heart center. resilience and strength, mental strength now into the next part of our flow. Gently release the hands down, release the bind. We're going to bring the left hand so it's in line with the right foot. The right arm is coming up to the side of the body, to the side of the room. We're going to open the body up to the side of the room. So bring the gaze up there towards that right thumb. Line with that right foot, and the body's going to start to open up 
to the left side of the room. Gaze can come up to that left thumb. Good, some of you may be able to achieve a bind here as well. If not, just stay there. If you can, maybe take that right hand, arm and start to feed it through that right leg. And then the left arm is gonna come down the back and reach for the other hand for the bind. One more breath here, gently release. Walk that leg back. And just come down onto the forearms again, into that soft puppy. And just gradually work that out the right side of the hip. And coming back to downward facing dog. Give the neck a shake. Let's breathe together. Inhale. And out. And in. And out. And in. Left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, travelling through, squeezing the knee into your low lunge as we lower the left, the right knee, flatten left foot. Left knee arriving on top of the left ankle. We're inhaling up, allowing that centre line and the hips to become in alignment. That energy ball running through the palms. Again, if you want to deepen, send the knee away and realign those hips. So you're feeling very active here in the lower part of the thigh that goes into the glute. Keep breathing. Relax down through the shoulders. Gently start to pull the arms down. As we're bringing focus into heart centre, find the fingers, pull them down away. Let's open up the heart. Breathe into heart. Keep your stability. If you can, close the eyes. Open the knees, pull the toes together, 
draw the bum back. Okay, our hands into prayer. We're going to bend the elbows and bring it on top of the head. So bring the focus to the back now. And in the middle back, where the heart chakra would be laying, let's really think about focusing the breath there. Taking those deep breaths and allowing the back to expand from middle, lower, upper back. You can feel that expansion running through the armpits, underneath the armpits.
soles of the feet together. Take the arms just back away from you. And just begin to gently rock through those knees. And then just gently start to take it back. We're going to come into that recline cobblers. So let's take the left hand back to heart centre and the right hand coming into the solar plexus. Close the eyes, relax your shoulders down. You might want to gently just widen the elbows, which just opens up through your shoulders a little more. If it's really uncomfortable and excruciating through the groin area, we can slide the feet away, make it a bit softer. Close the eyes and let's take it back in work. Start to bring the awareness now back towards the breath. You can really start to connect with and feel that three part breathing. As you're inhaling into the belly, the ribcage. while we're relaxing down now, we could begin to bring in our own affirmation and mantra. Something that's going to allow your mindset to feel that peace and contentment. you find it hard or struggle with in affirmations or mantras, just simply repeat to yourself, I am worthy. I am strong. intuition. I am love. And I can easily connect to my heart energy.
and gently just start to pull the knees together real slow. You're going to feel that quite intensely. And then let's just slide those feet away. Allow them just to open a little. Noticing how relaxed and calm you can feel and how this is available to you and every single person on the planet. So let's reconnect back to the feet and the toes. Let's just begin by giving them a little wiggle. You can move the hands and the fingers and gently roll the neck. Full body stretch, point the toes away, mm. exhale, let's pull the knees in and give them a nice squish in, a rock and roll, let's roll it all the way along the back, roll the skull, come onto your arms, and just think about really massaging, oh, waking yourself up. at the side and just gradually allow yourself to come back to the space and come up to that comfortable seated so I don't know about you but I'm actually feeling super energized and awake now often after some yoga classes, if it's super sleepy, um, but obviously we're all different and we all respond differently. But today, I have reconnected back to my energy. Take a deep breath in, strong exhale from the mouth. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Wishing you love and light. Om Shanti Namaste.